cuddly, cuddly, cuddly. Hi. I'm Jackie. Mm -hmm. And I love, love, love teddy bears. They're cuddly. You can hold them close. You can love them. They don't reject you. If you want to cry, you can just hold them close to your chest. And you feel better. If I've worked 16, 18 hours a day, I could come home really tired, upset, and frustrated, look at one of my favorite bears, pick it up, hug it, and feel a sense of comfort and relief. Aww. That's indescribable. Sweet, 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 sweet. I'm Nicole, and Jackie is my mom. The last time I saw my mom's house, her front door didn't even open. It would only crack a few inches, and then you had to slide into the door. It felt like I was in a cave. I'm Gerald, and Jackie is my mom. It's been about eight years since I've been in the house, but I do not remember a time when the house wasn't hoarded. The bears and dolls were placed wherever they could be because new ones were arriving weekly. If I had to guess how much money she spent on this collection, let's just say just dolls and bears, it's over a million dollars. Boom! I ran upstairs and he was running around in a circle saying, dial 911, holding his hand with the blood streaming down and his fingers were gone. I had some explosives that I was building and I lit the fuse, and the fuse turned out to be one that they would light even if underwater. So there was zero chance of me putting it out, which means I lost a few seconds to throwing it, and it exploded in my right hand. I quit my job, and I homeschooled him for that year. He got his degree and went off to college. But that's when I couldn't go back to work because I was diagnosed with kidney cancer. So because of the kidney cancer and complications and other serious health issues, I was not able to work. After she got her severance package, that's when she had a lot of cash in hand and things accelerated. It's like it was already flooding and the severance package was when the dam broke. The beginning of the end was eBay. I would overbid if I really wanted to win something, and I end up paying three, four times what something is worth. She spent everything she had. Um, the severance is gone. There is no more money, and right now she is living on Social Security. has had times where instead of paying the mortgage, she's purchased bears. Her overspending is going to cause her to lose her home. I'm not worried about the house, I'm worried about her. This is horrible. <laughs> Hi, Jackie. Hi. Good morning. I'm Mark Pfeffer. Nice meeting you. Come nice on meeting. in. Thank you, dear. I'm Mark Pfeffer. I'm a licensed psychotherapist and specialist in hoarding disorder. So I'm looking around this room, and I'm seeing hundreds of teddy bears. I wanted to just ask you about this room. I've been collecting for over 46 years, and recently, I've been robbed of all my best bears. By no means is this a reflection of the collection I had. And I want to talk to you about that, but I have one question I want to ask you. What's your vision? What do you want to see? Space, what? space, space, space. No clutter. I'm here to help you if you let me. I am willing to do whatever it takes. Okay. I am so happy to have everyone here and to get started on the project. I'm Standalyn Robertson, Certified Professional Organizer. 
So we're going to work on your garage to build a path to get into the house. Okay. If something is clearly garbage, can we put it on the truck or yes. do you need to look at it? No. Okay. So if it's an old... You guys will have a lot of freedom. That's real important. Do yes, you mean it is. that? I mean it. Okay. I'm ready for a new life. Well, we're here to give it to you. All right. So let's get started. Let's get started. I was astounded when I saw Jackie let the items go from her garage. You guys are the best. But these are not items that she holds in high esteem. The teddy bears is going to be an issue for her because that was her salvation. I don't want to look at this. You don't want to look at this? It's awful. <laughs> Tell me what the tears are about. All of my beautiful, one-of-a-kind designer bears, they're gone. Jackie, I think your tears are premature. We just started. This is the tip of the iceberg. No, I know what's left. I know what I have. I am. I... And this is what I told you. They took all of my top quality stuff, and then they went and opened boxes of the old stuff and dumped it so that it looked like the house was still full and cluttered. <laughs> Well, we're going to go through this, and Sandler's going to help you figure out what to do with these things, but you have to face this fear. The reason I'm letting Jackie keep her beliefs without confrontation is because that's going to be a longer-term process therapeutically. But right now, I want to get through the cleanup and for her to see that there is some hope. What do you need right now? Do you need to sit down? Okay. All right, let me take her. Okay. You should go oh in. Come on. I'm concerned about the next couple of days. If she continues on the path that we're going now, we won't even get one room done. Oh my God! <laughs> They've been terrorizing me, it's awful! <laughs> she honestly believes that someone is in the house and is taking her items. So we had to stop, you know, try to settle her down and refocus in terms of the original plan. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am sincerely sorry that my stress and concern slowed the process, and it won't happen today. We want to help you, so I want you to tell me how you would like to use this time. What I'd like to do is clear as much as we can, and even if all we accomplish is this area, I'm very pleased. Okay, great. Let's get started. I just wanted to let you know, I just got off the phone with our warehouse manager and he's ready and we're waiting for it and... Let's go for it. Let's empty this place. That's music yes. to my ears, yes. hearing you say that. You mean it? I mean it. And it's time for me to start a new life. I need more bags, guys. In the beginning, Jackie didn't trust that we had good intentions for her. But today, on the last day, she really came around. We had three truckloads of teddy bears and dolls go off to auction. <gasps> oh my God! Look at the kitchen! Oh my goodness! So what does this mean for you? Freedom. This is the first day in six months I haven't cried my heart out. So this makes it the first day of the rest of my life. I want to hear from this one. Do we have tears of I, joy? Um, yeah, yeah. I really didn't think she would ever be able to get this far. So I am very hopeful. 
I think the, the biggest moment was when she said, take them all. And Jackie, that was nothing but God. Well, so. it was God, but it was also the fact that when your house is so cluttered that there can be someone there for months at a time hiding, that is unbelievable. And if you can't prove it, then it becomes a serious problem for you. Today was a great first step. We've begun to address the hoarding, but now it's time for Jackie to make a commitment to work on some of her other mental health issues with a good therapist and commit to a therapeutic alliance. I don't know how I could ever thank you. I want you to thank me by oh, enjoying it. I will. <laughs> I cannot even express how happy I am right now. I now have a safe, wonderful, comfortable area in which to clear my mind and see hope. And I'm determined to take back control of my life. This has been a dream come true. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.